Hello there. I just tried out this new box this month called Deep Readers Club where every month is based on a certain emotional theme. So this month was supposed to be anxiety. So I'm pretty excited about this. I just thought it'd be fun to try something a little bit different. And what the heck, I thought I would just unbox it with you guys for the sake of funsies. Okay, so let's go ahead and jump in. Let's go ahead and open this. I can't open it. <laughs> Hold on. It's just that you really have to want it, I guess. So I did get it. So let's go ahead and look. So first off, we have these three um, things laying on top. The first just seems to be the information card, which is really cute in itself. Like I'm kind of thinking about cutting this off and like popping it into some of my Instagram pictures because that's really cute. And then it looks like we have two sort of prints, which I really like because obviously I take a lot of Instagram pictures. So things like this are just great for me. They don't take up much space. You can pin them up if you want to. You know, they just offer a lot of versatility in my opinion. So one is just the theme of this month's box, which is anxiety. And it just gives a definition of that. And just simple, nice, clean, crisp design. And then this one is a quote about anxiety. Our anxiety does not empty tomorrow of its sorrows, but only empties today of its strengths. And it has this cute little um, border. So I actually like both of these quite a bit. I think that's really cute and usable and practical things to have in a box. So now it looks like we need to dig into this wrapping. So let's see what's inside. I recognize this. This is a little notebook from Obvious State. Um, I have one similar, I did work with them before. So that is awesome. It is a Virginia Woolf quote. There is no denying, I can't talk. It's a Virginia Woolf quote saying there's no denying the wild horse in us. And if you look carefully, they have great, really interesting designs. There's a horse um, in the hairstyle and it's just a simple, tiny little notebook. The next thing is this little tea packets. There's two of them. Oh my golly, that sounds amazing. It's from Harlow Tea and Company. London Fog, Earl Grey Tea, Lemon Peel, and Lavender Flower. Mm, that sounds good. And then Mellow Mediterranean, um, Young Hyson Green Tea, Peppermint Leaf, Lemon Balm, Rosemary, and Basil. Oh my God, that sounds really yummy too. I'm not gonna lie. So I'm excited about that. If you know me at all, you know that I love tea. So that's always a plus for me. It looks like we've got some like self-care things in here, which is so appropriate and so on theme. The first of which is this um, cleansing greens. I've never even heard of something like this, but pretty cute idea. So it looks like you can um, just use it as a cleanser or use it as a mask. And the next one is a little packet of bath salts that smells amazing. Actually, what I noticed when I opened this box was that it smelled really good, which that was a weird response to have, but this kind of explains why. Um, soothe and relax, dead sea salt, Epsom salt, and then a bunch of oils, essential oils. So it smells really nice. And honestly, I think I'm going to use it later today and take advantage of it. The next little thing is a little candle from Bow and Arrow Candle Company. And the scent is just lavender, which I think is supposed to help people relax, which actually works for me. I do love the smell of lavender. And here, smell. <laughs> it does smell really nice. And I like that it's just small, like you could use this probably in a few sittings and then you don't have to worry about having this like sitting on your shelves forever. That's kind of what I'm liking about this box right now is that it sort of feels like an experience as opposed to just getting a bunch of like stuff to sort of sit around and take up space. This is all usable things, I feel like. Like the tea, the mask, the um, bath salts and the candle. Like you can really use those over the course of a month and really feel like you're having this sort of like box experience. And I don't know, I just like that. I like that it's usable and functional um, and a little bit more practical. So I'm kind of excited just to use these things, enjoy it and then move on and look forward to the next month. So I really like this so far, actually. I think it's it's a really practical, purposeful box. And I think the theme of doing um, an emotion every month is just really interesting and gives it a little bit of like a unique edge. So I don't know, it's pretty fun. I actually really like this box, but there's one more thing. So let's go ahead and look. Of course, it is a book box, so there has to be a book in here somewhere. And that is The Wolf Road. And it looks like it is a post-apocalyptic novel, which I truly love. I love post-apocalyptic novels. You can't stop me. 
and basically it just says Elka was just seven years old when this solitary hunter she calls Trapper took her in. In the years since then, he's been her whole world, teaching her the secrets of survival in a land where civilization has been destroyed and men are at the mercy of the elements and one another. So it sounds pretty good. And um, I don't know, I'm pretty excited about this. Gorgeous cover. Um, interesting entry page here. So yeah, I'm looking forward to that. I, I really like this box. And again, it's just one book, relatively short. So I feel like I could finish this in the month and just have that like month experience of this box and then look forward to the next one. So it's all very usable, which I really appreciate. So that is it for the Deep Readers Club March box. I really like this. I think I'm gonna keep trying it for a few months and see what happens. I don't know, it's just a fun experience of a box as opposed to just a merch that's gonna sit around. I really feel like all of it's really usable, it's fun. It's just a good like experience instead of just items, which just in life in general, I'm sort of starting to lean towards having more experiences than um, material objects. And I feel like this does that. It gives me something to look forward to. I love the theme. I think the theme is really fun. It has these art prints that I can continue to use in photos um, or just pin around the house. Like, I just love that. I think you could easily pin those mag, uh, pin the, uh, the prints on your fridge for the month and just sort of like reflect on that. I don't know. I love it. I actually think it's a really cool box. So I'm going to keep trying it. Let's see how the next few months go. But that is it for the Deep Readers Club March box. Can I tell you something? If you like this video, you're gonna like the next one. So go ahead and hit that subscribe button, give this video a big thumbs up if you liked it, and hey, leave me a comment below because I love talking to you guys. All right, I'll see you on my next video. Bye guys.